Hello, everybody. All my followers, I love you guys so much. You have no idea. Hey, um, I wanted to let you know, um, today I'm going to do um, some shells because I watched um, uh, a little video on um, the Lost Ocean. It was like a flip through um, for the Lost Ocean. And so um, I wanted to go ahead and um, try to do some shells for you, okay? Because I saw that there was a lot of shells inside that, inside the Lost Ocean coloring book. So um, I'm going to go ahead and color this one for you and show you how to do um, the, these shells here. I'm going to um, have this page available for you. Um, you can print it out for free, too. So, okay, so um, let, right now let's get started. Alright, so let's get a little closer here, maybe about there. Let's see. I'm still kind of getting used to how to get close enough so you guys could see and all that stuff. So, excuse me, pardon me. <laughs> gonna work it out here. Okay, I'm gonna do a little piece here and then I'll look at it in the camera and see if it's coming out right. Sorry about it, I'm always complaining about it. It's so hard for me to figure out this video camera. Okay, so what the first thing I wanna do is um, I, I'm gonna do this shell right here. And um, we're going to start here with, um, let's do um, a base. Okay, so let's take um, the, um, this is the blush pink. And what we want to do is we want to imagine that there's like a little line kind of going around maybe from about, from about maybe here. And we just got to kind of make a little line here. Okay, just a little, it's just a little like a, that just you know like a little area here and what we want to do is we want to go like this and fill it in but see how I'm doing this with up and down strokes okay because I want it to look like a shell and have ridges so they're kind of like really big Z's they go up and down big Z's see that big Z's big Z's big Z's see okay I want them to have grooves and be groovy okay so now we're going to go like this, okay, now we got that filled out, we got some white splats, so we've got a little texture, Okay, now I'm going to switch, I, I'm going to move it towards me, because what I want to do now is I want to fill it in again, but I'm going to go the Z's this way, okay, I'm going to just do a little bit more, but I'm going to make it, I want, see, I hope you can see the ridges there, let's see, maybe I need a little closer, let's see, I don't know, I'm going to try, let's go a little closer, so see if you can see those little ridges. See, I'm making little ridges that are going like this, see? Little ridges. And they're like little, just Z's, just go Z's, 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 Z's. It's okay if it's messy because, it, you know, we want to make the shell look like a shell. We don't want it just colored in one color, then it won't have any texture to it. So I'm just putting in like this. Okay. Okay. So let's go back out a little bit because I don't think I think it's a little bit probably too close, which is not what I want. So, okay, so let's go again like this. Okay, and we're gonna do it like this here. All right. All right. So now we got a little base in here. Okay. Okay. Nice base. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to put in another color. So let's grab um, this one here, which is a regular pink. This is just a regular pink. And I'm going to do the same thing, but just not in all the areas. So like just kind of messily put some over here, maybe over here, or maybe up here. Just, just kind of, you know, just to give it some flavor. So yeah, I'm just kind of putting it in some areas here. I'll just base it. See, it's okay if you're messy. It's messy is okay um, in, in this. So that's, that's good, right? See, I'm just, I can even go down along the side if I want. You'll, you'll get the hang of this when you're, when, when we're done, because you'll see that there's a lot of different ways you can do this. I mean, as far as where you put your, uh, this, this color is like if you want to go up and down here, See? All right. I'll show you what I mean when we get going. Okay, now now what we want to do is we want to take another color. Um, we just did pink, right? Yeah, hold on. That was, yeah, we just did pink. Okay. I have I had two pinks out, so sorry about that. All right. Now what we're going to do is let's take, um, this one here is a magenta. All right. Now what we want to do is start giving it a little bit more love here. So I'm going to maybe put some 
little defects, just like some, you know, just some weird, just to give it, so it looks like a little bit more real instead of just filled in. That doesn't look good now, but don't worry. Okay, so just, maybe you want a little character flaws over here. Maybe you want a couple little over here. Okay. I have maybe a couple little character flaws over here. And then, see, it's okay if we're messy because we're going to be messing it more. So don't worry. Just add some color here. Maybe make some over here. There we go. Okay, so now we got that in. Now what we want to do is we want to take um, this gray. This is a 30% warm gray, okay? Sorry about my nails, my fingernails. <laughs> okay, um, now with the 30% warm gray, what we're going to do is you're going to take this and on, your, and on the line, you want to make it kind of thick on, on here, and you're going to start creating little grooves. So just... You may want to watch it first before you color and copy me, just so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm going to do here. Okay, so I'm just filling it in. It's okay if you're messy because you'll understand. See how I'm kind of going up and down the lines too? I mean, you don't really want a straight line. You want more of a shadow. You can have a shadow here. See, it's already starting to kind of come along here. You don't want to be too jagged on your edges, but you don't really want to be all that straight either. If it's if you put it in just and went like this and just made a straight line, see it just doesn't have that same look. Oh, sorry, my <laughs> sorry, I just got scared, you guys. Sorry, somebody came right in front of me. I didn't know anybody was in here. And this was my son. He scared me. Did you guys hear me scream? Oh my gosh, Logan, how did you sneak in here? I, I didn't. I was trying to be like, I wasn't trying to be sneaky. Well, I didn't even see you. I guess I'm so into coloring. I literally just walked in. I was sitting here the entire time. Really? Yeah, I was trying to, I'm trying to tell you the dinner's ready. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, no so that, so the meatloaf I made is already done? Yep. Um, okay. Thanks. <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. Oh, what a crazy, crazy family we got over here, huh? That was Logan. He's 12. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I really got scared. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm glad I filmed that. <laughs> that's priceless, huh? Okay, so, so now you see here how we got that done, right? Okay. So now it's starting to have a little bit more of a, a shelly look here. So we're going to make this a little thicker. See it now? Now we're going to start working on the, just the top part. So let's kind of make it a little thicker so it has like, because these are going to be like, you know, just little grooves, little, just so that it looks a little different, you know. So we want to um, have it add some shade to it. Thank you, Logan. Yep. This time I heard you. You brought me my dinner, you guys. Okay, so now we got this, some shade in there, okay, which is which is cool. Okay, then what we want to do is we want to even go a little bit further and start um, do putting in some detail now, okay? So let's start giving it uh, a little bit of detail here. But this is the, oh, uh, sorry, this is a 70% warm gray, okay? And what I want to do is I'm just going to just kind of come around here and maybe put a little shadow in here and put a little one here. I'm just giving it a little bit more flaws to it. I did a, um, a, well, you can kind of see it here where I was messing around, um, but you can see how this area, how it's going to be getting done. Okay, so you can have an idea of where we're going. That was my little practice when I was practicing to see if I can get it to look the way I wanted to. So, I'm just... Trying to get it just so that it looks a little bit.
Okay. And here, I think we're going to maybe make a little bit. See, I'm putting it very light now because I want to make a little bit of a shadow on this side, a little bit darker on this side here. Okay. And then maybe start lightening it up as we're very little pressure. See, very little pressure, very little pressure on here just to create a little hue because I don't want it so pink. I want to d dull it down just a little. So I'm just kind of very, very little, little, little pressure. Very light, extremely light. It just <clears throat> See, I'm just barely, 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 barely doing that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is we're going to get the original um, color that we used. Okay, and we're going to um, blend it. Okay, it can go this way and then go up and down. Go up and down, blend it. You can be messy here because it's okay to be messy here. See how I'm just kind of filling in all the areas. And see? Let's, let's see, now we're getting some grooves. We're getting some texture. And that's what we want. We want to create texture. And when I do the background, you'll see, I'm going to do the same thing on the background. Because um, the background back here, um, instead of just, you know, everybody just kind of colors it in with one color, but there's no, then there's no texture. So I'm going to teach you how to do some. Just so it looks like a little sand, but that'll be fun when we get there. Okay, so now we got that pink in. Okay, now what we want to do is let's take this um, um, cloud blue. Okay, now um, I want to just explain something to you. When you're picking your light blues from your Prismacolor um, things, you're going to notice that there, we have three really light blues that we could pick from. Okay, but you need to know that they're they're kind of different, and when you're trying to pick a blue. Um, they're not all the same. One one is a little bit more greener than the other, and one's a little bit more purple than the other. Okay, and one is a little bit uh, more bluer than the other. So, and when you're picking a blue, just kind of pick, you know, just kind of keep in mind the sky blue light is more green, and then the cloud blue is a little bit leaning towards, you know, more of a grayish, purplish, and then the the cloud blue is more of a a, a blue. Okay, so just saying. Okay, so now what we want to do here is now let's cr cr create another little line, but make this one bigger than, than, than the other one. So we're going to maybe do it about here. Okay. So I'm going to make another little half circle right here. Okay. And now we're going to fill in this area. Straight up and down like this. And you can go up into this area here too if you want. It's okay. I'm going to start connecting all this all together. Okay, messy's okay. Messy's okay. All right. So now we got a little that coming. Now let's take um, this one here, which is a blue slate. Okay, and this is kind of like got a little bit of gray in it. And what we want to do here now is start um, adding some more color. Go up a little. Okay, go up a little. See how now? Now what I'm doing here. The way I'm doing it is I'm going this way like this up. I'm doing kind of long Z's like that. See how I'm doing a lot like zigzag, zigzag fashion. Okay, zigzag. See, zigging. I'm zigging and zagging. <laughs> zigging and zagging because I want texture again. Me and my texture, right? But that's what I want. I don't want it one solid color because then there's no character. I want extreme, where we want character, and we want to go crazy, right? We don't want to be average colorists. We want to be really good, proud of our stuff, right? So now we can kind of blend up in here a little, just so that it's a little blended, so there's not a straight line. You want to kind of, you know, maybe put some dark, push a little harder, and then you want to kind of blend this two together so it's not exactly a perfect line here. Okay, so now we got that, that blue in there. Now what we want to do is we want to start putting in, sorry, another blue here. And we're going to use, what happened? What's the matter here? Hold on, let me, let me stop it. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. My son brought me my, my, my meatloaf that we made earlier, and I just ate it. Okay, I was gone for about maybe five minutes. <laughs> okay, so um, I just wolfed it down. Now, this is um, ultramarine, okay? So you're going to take some ultramarine blue. And what we're going to do is we want to kind of make some lines here. Um, follow the lines with the ultramarine blue. Okay, maybe come down. You want to maybe come down a little. 
And see, it's okay for messy, you know, no need to worry. Okay, I'll just do the whole section at a time here. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to uh, do the same thing on the blue here. So what we're going to do, Z's, little Z's. Okay, or however you want to do it. You can go up, down, you can just, you want to fill in the area, but you create texture. Okay. So I'm just kind of putting it in like this, staying along that guideline that we have there. Okay, go up in here, maybe a little bit, so it's so it's blended. You know, you know, get rid of the line, so it's not quite a line there. Okay, now we can start putting in a little darker, maybe in here. We want to make little shadows, and it just kind of comes together as you progress through your little you know, shell. And this area here, I'm going to make a little darker because I want it to be shaded when we do the shading part. And then up here, I'm going to start going a little lighter with it. Lighter pressure, see? Just a little bit lighter pressure. Just so it kind of fades to a little lighter. Because I want the light coming from this side here. Okay. So I don't really worry about being messy, which I like. It's uh, you don't have to be perfect, because we don't want a perfect, we want to have it look like a shell. And the texture, right? Okay, so now let's take it from the bottom here and just kind of kind of go around the bottom here. Okay, and then what we're going to do now is let's just start kind of going up. See how I'm just going up like this? You could use my little flicking method too, see? Like this. Flick it, flick it, flick it, flick it, flick it up, see, just flick it up so we have a, a gradual lightening, okay, so it's going darker down in here, so let's make it darker in here, okay, and then flick it up, flick it up, flick it up, flick it up, okay, there, that's starting to come together here, I'm going to put some details in. Maybe we can have maybe a little darker over here. Maybe a little darker over here. Make a little. Okay. Maybe here. Okay. You just kind of play around with it, really. You know, just. Okay. There we go. Okay, now. We're going to come down here with the blue. Okay. Just with the shell. And you might want to watch the video, watch this video first, and so that you kind of get the idea and then. Then you can go now. Now that you got the idea, now you can go print this out and then start coloring it. Because now you kind of kind of got an idea of why it was so messy. You can kind of understand now. See, I'm trying to make it, and you just kind of play around with it. You know, like the, just play around with it till you like the way that it's coming coming around. You know, you want it to look like something that you like. Okay, and then what we're gonna do here is let's put in um, maybe a little bit more pink over here. This is the um, uh, blush pink, and I'm just going to put some blush pink in here, in this little area. So you kind of see how it's not a big deal if you're messy. See? And you can bring some pinks up in here if you want, just so everything's kind of kind of got a little flow. You just kind of, see? And I'm just kind of throwing it together. A little shell. All right. Okay, now I'm going to take this um, uh, warm gray, and I think I'm going to put it over this because it was a little too pink. So I'm going to tone that down a little bit and give it some shadow. Just a little bit more of a realistic look to it. Okay, and I think I'm going to bring in some more of this gray too. This is the darker gray we were using before, the 70% warm gray that we were using before. 
I'll put in a little bit of detail in this area. I'm going to put some shadows down in here. Okay, we want some shadow in here. So put it very light. I'm putting it very light now because I just try to give it a little bit of some shadow. Okay, a little bit darker on the side here. Now I'm going to start going a little lighter. Now I can be messy. Just, I'm just nice and lightly, just giving a little bit now, really lightly, that part light. There you go. Okay, so we got that. Now, what I want to do is we're going to take our sky blue light, and with our sky blue light, just blend it all together right here, just this section. Just this section, just so it's a little bit not, you know, now now we're starting to just put the push the pigment into the paper and so that it looks finished. That's our final blending. Okay, and then we can go up a little, just a little tad up into this pink area. Push, I'm pushing pretty hard too. Okay, there, I'm gonna do the same over here. Just blend it all together. Okay, let's blend it all together there. Okay, now let's take the, our lightest one again. This is that the uh, blush pink. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna blend it, push, push hard, and just blend it in. So now we've got our final blend. Well, not yet. We're gonna put in some white, but okay. Is this fun? This is really fun, huh? Got a little shell going. Let me get messy over here. It's just a little, this is just for like a little highlight, so it's got a little highlight there. Okay. Now we're going to take our white, this is just white, and then let's just kind of maybe see if it'll give us a little highlight up here. Give us a little highlight with the white right here. Can't really see the white too good, but that's okay. Okay, and then maybe we would put a little in this area here, just to use it as to blend and to get a little bit of highlight and then, all right and there you go there's our little shell and there's our shell and then well I don't know how hopefully it wasn't too close because see when, the way it really looks on your paper is not how it looks when it's really really close up it looks, looks really nice when it's um, you know backed up like that you know in the little grouping okay but we're not done yet because I need to add a little bit of stuff. So I have, um, uh, let's try some magenta. And what I want to do now is just kind of add a little bit more detail up in here with the magenta. Let's see, I'm just kind of giving it a little, uh, right along just the tip of it, where the black is. Just kind of so shaving it down in there. Just Give it, you know, a little something. And I'm just going to blend it down. Messy. Okay. And I got here, this is uh, dark purple. And with the dark purple, I'm just going to kind of do the same thing. Just very, very, just to give it a final, so I don't really like, the black line is just too black, you know, and so I'm just kind of trying to fix, fix it a little bit, what they got there. Okay, and you can, maybe, kinda, let's see, you can start flying it up here if you want. Just, just put in a little bit more detail, okay? Maybe this, maybe we want some over here. Maybe, maybe we just only want that corner. Maybe we 
I want this over here. Okay. Don't forget to um, hit the like button, okay, if you like this. Because I like to know, like, well, did you guys like it or... Because, you know, I can't get, I don't get to chat with you or, or anything like that, so I just don't know what, how, if you guys like it. And the only way I, I can tell is if you hit the like button. It's not that hard, just push it. <laughs> and then um, also make a comment if you want. Just say anything, anything. It's okay, just put some kind of a comment there. Just say, say anything, like I like it or I, you know, I didn't like it when you added that color, the purple, or, you know, you're a weirdo. You know, whatever. <laughs> See, Lisa, you're a weirdo. I don't care. Well, no, don't put that on my thing. <laughs> I am weird, but... Okay, so now I'm just kind of adding a little bit more of the final details. Just kind of, see? Just... Just... Just a little bit. Just to make it, like I say, more a little bit more interesting. And you just kind of do it until you're happy with how, how you think it, it looks. Okay. Pretty good, huh? All right. All right, go. So that's that. That one's that shell. And then, if you want to, you can just continue. You can we can continue putting in more details. You can go as crazy as you want. Okay. There we go. All right. Now let's do it. Um, another shell. Okay. So I gotta go change the battery in my camera, and I'll be back. Okay, well I hope you like that little exercise there. So now let's do um, another kind of a way, okay? Because I like to show you that there's just different ways of us that we can do things, okay? So um, what I want to do here is I want to maybe, let's take, um, this is, uh, let's see, what color is this here? Light aqua, okay? So take some light aqua and what we're going to do with our, with, with this, with this way is I want to maybe kind of go like this, but I want to like leave the tip up here kind of white. Okay, so we'll just put in our aqua like this. Same way with the jagged type look to it. Okay, this is going to be. It's a totally different. I'm just trying to try to different ways that you could do it because there's, you know, there's different shells in here in this picture, so we could do. You don't have to do them all exactly the same. You could choose different colors. You know, change it up. I'm just showing you a different way. Okay. Okay, we've got that going there. Now we're going to take um, our non-photo blue. And with the non-photo blue, we want to start maybe coming over right in about right about this area here. This one here. I'm just kind of coming down here. Just add a little bit of that. Okay. There we go. All right. Then I'm going to take this um, aqua again and then just maybe just kind of go over that a little. color here. Alright, now we got that. Okay, then what we're going to do is let's take that um, aquamarine that we were using before on the other one, the ultramarine. <laughs> aquamarine. Ultramarine. And we're going to start from the bottom. Alright, and just do a major shade here. Okay, 
and we're going to go up. Okay, I'm just kind of kind of just yes. See my little flicking method? I told you I love that method. It works really good. Just bring it up like little, like little strands of hair. Just like little strands of hair. Again, because we want the texture, you know. See how it's starting? See how it's getting in? And then you can just kind of see where you think you need to add more. I'm just trying to even out the line. I just kind of want a gradual fade, you know. Okay, there you go. See, it's just it's it's kind of like airy and pastel-y and just sort of sort of cool, right? All right, then um, let's take um, uh, let's see what a color do I want to use. Um, Let's take a little bit of this pink. Um, this is deco pink, and let's just just kind of get some in here. So we have a little. We can tie these together so in the same color scheme a little bit. Get a little bit of pinks in here. Okay. okay. Maybe push a little harder in here in this area just. Okay, so we got a little little bit of pink in here, and then now we got some hot pink. So get nice and light because this is very bright color. And you can always go darker if you want it in some areas. Now you know that because the pink and the the blue we're gonna make a purple, so we got a little bit of purple going. Very cool. All right, so that looks good. Okay, now let's take some. Um, um, this is some jasmine. And with the jasmine, we're going to start here and just bring it down. All right. So we get the real nice aqua-y aqua kind of look. Nice aqua-y. Aqua-y. Huh? I've been really putting out a lot of videos lately because me recovering, you know, I mean, I can't really do much, so I'm just kind of, I get the color. How cool is that? So there's my silver lining. <laughs> okay, and if you want to add a little bit in here, just, you know, there's some, there's some interest, of course, variety, you know, something to make your eye comfortable. Alrighty. Yeah. That's nice and airy. See, you now remember, we were looking at it really close up. When you're looking at it from far away, see how they, they nice blend together and everything? The camera picks it up and it's all you can see all the all the pets and strokes so close, but it's not like that when you're looking at it normal. And everything's not magnified or zoomed in, you know? So it's pretty, right? See, it's this nice flow. And now let's take um, Goldenrod. And with the Goldenrod, um, we want to put Goldenrod right on the edge, like so. Okay. And then maybe just ever so lightly, just give it a little, little, little teeny. See, just a little up here.
See, it just give it a nice little boost back in here. Okay, so we got that going. There's one there. Now let's do um, this one. While we have the golden rod out, okay, let's just, you know, it's messy. See this messy again like that? Messy there. And then um, let's see. Let's just, uh, okay, I'm just kind of trying to figure out what I want to do here. Um, okay, so let's take some of this, uh, the jasmine we were using before, Yeah, we can kind of come across like this. I want to, I'm trying to get like a watercolory kind of look where we're going to have our vibrancy and all that kind of stuff. So um, that's what I'm going to try, try for here. Um, let's bring the yellow over here. Okay. Um, Actually, let's just put it around this whole top, this whole little section. But this is going to be up and down here. And maybe we're going to put some, um, maybe over here. Mm -hmm. And then um, maybe put some over here. Okay. So now we've got a, got a little base there going. Now let's take our uh, golden rod again. And we're going to give it more. Start putting in some more detail here on this shell. I'm just gonna yeah, so now so now we're again with the texture, you know, we want some texture. So I'm just kinda going like that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is let's grab our um, non-photo blue and up and down and sideways, up and down and sideways, however you wanna create a little so again with the texture, you know. Okay, then we'll take our um, uh, the aquamarine, and now with our aquamarine, we're gonna kind of, kind of come around here, and then maybe we want it to put some over here a little bit, and so over here maybe, and we're gonna go this way, this way, this way. Then we're going to grab our um, hot pink, and with our hot pink, let's go over here and just kind of like this. So I'm just kind of using it as a messy blender, I guess. Just so I... right, now we're going to come into this area here, the hot pink. And we're just going to kind of follow the way that this thing is going. Okay. But we're going to leave the, the little middle part like that. All right. Okay, let's take some of this um, jasmine and I'm gonna put it in some areas. Not all the areas, just some. Okay, ultramarine. Kind of scribbling it in here. Now let's take this one here. This is the, um, it's called a light aqua. And yeah, let's put a light aqua maybe in here. Alright. And put some light aqua over here. Put in some more detail with your ultramarine again. Not detail, but just like more shadowy. Okay, 
so it doesn't look like a jelly roll with just the black lines. We got some sh shades going. See how I'm bringing that color around? So let's take this here and do the side, and then again with the, my little flicking method, you want to just bring your shadow in on the side like this. Okay. You want to give it the illusion that it's bending, so let's come around here and Whoops, that's all right. Don't worry about the back because I'm gonna. Sometimes I go out over lines, but it's okay. Cause, I mean, I'd rather not. But if you do, you just I'm just gonna fix it. So I'm just gonna carefully go on the outside edges like that. Okay, now I'm gonna make some of the lines gonna come a little further. Do you need me to turn off the camera? You need to talk to me about something? Huh? Oh, okay. All right. See, so I'm gonna leave a little highlight right there. Okay, we got a nice little highlight going there. So see, that's pretty. Now let's take the um, let's see, what should we do? Let's take a, um, the light. This is the um, the cloud blue that we're using in the other one, and then we're just gonna just kind of go across like this and use that as a blender. Okay, so it's got a nice blend. Blend it. How many of my cookies are you taking? Oh, I thought you had some. You had. To. No. You didn't take any cookies? No cookies. No cookies. No cookies. No cookies. Okay. Just too <laughs> okay, so now we just kind of we will put a scenario where I maybe I don't want some blending here. You just play around with the colors that we got that we were using here. Let's use that base here. There we go. All right, now let's throw in, I mean, you know, we have our palette of colors now. So now you just play with your palette of colors that we've been using and just kind of put them in various little spots so that it, everything is tied together so we have a color scheme, you know. You don't want just random colors now, and it, you want to stick with the colors that are in our palette now. You really don't want that many colors when you're doing stuff like this. You don't want, like, different color families and stuff. Um, this is the magenta. I thought maybe I could use a little brightening over here. So, uh, just you just kind of play around and to you know just give it some crazy wacky wake, wacky love color. However you know, to do it, I'm gonna maybe put some in here. Maybe I'll put some in here. Now we're going to take our, um, let's use our blue, our blue, blue slate, and let's give this a little shadow. Blue slate. Okay. And then um, let's try um, a cerulean blue, a cerulean blue, and with the cerulean blue, kind of greenish blue, we're going to do this. So we're going to go in here. Light. Just kind of play around with it. Okay, I'm going to grab the yellow that, that we had. Put a little yellow in it. Until you're happy with it, and, and again, when you go farther away, see, you got a nice. Okay, so the background. Let's take the same color, 
And what I want to do is go like this. Or we'll do another that other shell in a minute too. And just kind of messy. Just see how I'm just kind of going all different directions this way. Scribbling. Just like scribble scrabbles, little circles, little Z's, little circles, little Z's. Get nice texture. Okay. Let's see. Out there. Okay. Yeah. Here. Circles. Different directions. So I'm going all different kinds of cattywampus ways. I'm just putting it in. So we have leave some white paper back there. So you have stuff with some white paper. Okay, let's just stop writing this just do this area. Okay, because you you know you can do it all the way around yourself. I'm just gonna show you just this part because you already know how to do the shells and then you put it all together. Um, and then you, you take your golden rod and then do the same thing. But kind of outline the area of where that shell is and then just do the same thing. See? And just little circles. Okay, but outline just the edges of the, the shell that was behind it. You don't want um, to have the line look at, look like it's not blended in, so start your blending up where the darker line is. Okay. See? I got a little textured background. Totally easy. All right? Now you, this is how you can do all your backgrounds. Anytime you want to do background, just you could do it like this. If you you know, depending on what look you're after, of course, but this is just one way. But you won't be afraid of doing backgrounds anymore, right? See what you learned? You're welcome. <laughs> I wish I could hear all of you guys, but I can't. It so sucks. I gotta learn how to do Facebook Lives or YouTube Lives. I gotta get more of that. Okay, there we go. All right, and then if you want to have like areas of little shadows, you could put. Some more in. You can even add another color if you wanted to, but I'm just going to just use those two. So then you just do this in throughout all the background. Okay, now we've got to do um, this shell here um, to, because there's a lot of these little these little shells. I used to find these all the time on the beach when I used to live on the beach. So uh, anyway, let's get, to, let's get to that one here. All right, so let's just, uh, it's too close again. i got to get used to my new camera. All right, well, Probably there. I hope it. I hope this comes out. Okay. That was my sister-in-law. I have to always answer just in case something happens. Okay. So now I'm taking that mineral orange and I'm just kind of starting to fill this in. Maybe you could put a little bit over here if you want to, just to tie it in. And fill in these little. The main thing is to fill in the. The little, these little areas here, whatever they're called. I don't even know what they're called. So I just fill it in. Alright. Our mineral orange. Okay, now let's take um, a, a pumpkin orange. Okay, we're gonna take a pumpkin orange, and I uh, gotta make sure it's sharp. You make sure you're kind of sharp, or you don't have problems. And you're gonna kind of just fill it in, same way. Okay. 
It's okay if you're not. This is like a, this is a different kind of a method I'm using to teach you about the the messy part. Like you know, you just just the way. Oh, it's just a different way to color, but give with texture and a, kind of like a watercolory type situation, I guess. I don't know. Either way, it's a cool little thing. I, I use this technique a lot. Messy, messy thing. Especially when I'm doing the interiors, you know, like, like if the, maybe the romantic country coloring book, how they got books and they got, you know, just different bedding when you do, you do beds and curtains and things. Bedspreads. Or rugs, you know, especially with rugs. If you want to make a rug fuzzy, you gotta do that same way. Sorry about that. Gosh, I'm busy today. I can't believe it. Jeez, that was funny. I get so busy. Okay, so now we're gonna just take the same, the same color, and we're just kind of going just around the edges here a little bit, just to give it. You know, you maybe use it over here. If you want, you know, you can put it in some areas. Just so your background looks nice, you know. So anyway, you got the idea. You can just play around like this until you get it right. Okay, and so you just fill all these in with that one. Okay, now let's grab another one even. There's lots of layers, huh? Okay, this one is sienna, sienna brown. And with the sienna brown, what we want to do is just give it a little oomph. Now you'll notice it gets a little harder because there's waxy now because there's a lot of layers on here. So you probably notice as you start coloring, wax build up. I don't know, I'm just kind of bringing it around here. Oh, I leave leave that highlight in the middle there. It's kind of good. Okay. We still, I think I still need to darken a little more. Let's try some chestnut. Okay. And now, there's a lot of resources on the internet too. You can look at pictures of these shells because they kind of you can do them in different colors. You don't have to do. It. This color, and this was just the one I chose. I don't know. Just go, go search through Google Images and just type in um, shells, colored pencils, or just shells, and you can see different varieties. Because I don't know what this is called. It's kind of a shell. But. Okay. There you go. So there's a nice shell there. And if you wanted to put in a little bit more detail, you could use this dark brown, you know, to kind of just keep playing around with it till you're. Okay, so now you got how to do the, the, this one here, the shell here. You got your background going, and you know you could you could also maybe even put a little pink. You know, like you can do a really like a light a light one, a, like a light pink one right here, using the same colors that we're using. Just make it nice and light because I've seen them have little lights. But always like try to leave a little highlight. Like maybe you want to leave a little highlight where it's lighter in here, and then put the dark, you know, on the side or however. But just you know, it's always nice to leave a little um, highlight. So um, also. You want to not have it quite so highlight. You could tone it down a little golden rod Oops, like that. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you have fun um, with this picture. Uh, so uh, ta-ta for now. Let's but see, just finish it all the background up. Now I'm going to put a link below where you can print print this out. Okay. Because you want to. Um, uh, get it if, if you want to practice on the shells, you know, but or you can just practice in your lost ocean coloring book or any kind of coloring books where they have shells You can just 
just like one little color scheme for you and just some little tips. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like my video, okay? And um, subscribe if you haven't already. And click the little bell. There's like a little bell next to the subscribe. And it'll send you an actual email when, when you... Um, uh, you, you get, you'll get notified that, hey, Lisa just put up a new video. That way you won't miss anything, you know. All right, well, um, I thank you so much. It was fun, and um, I hope you guys all had a good time, and have fun finishing your picture. Ciao.